How does your face age? Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Tanzavati and I'm a double board certified facial plastic surgeon. I specialize in facelift surgery and as a facelift expert, I like to share with you what I see as a surgeon when I lift the face because what I see in surgery really gives me an idea how patients are aging, how we can reverse the signs of aging, and first we have to know what is happening to the face as we age. What I'd like to do is start off by going over the layers of our face. So let's peel back, like should I say, the onion. We start off with the skin, the surface skin, and then below that is our fat, below that are our muscles, below the muscles are our bone. And in every layer of the face, aging happens. They may happen in a different rate, but here's what happens that I see. For the skin, we start to lose collagen as we get older. Muscles that are moving underneath create lines in the face that start to stick, and those lines get deeper and deeper. We lose collagen when that happens, and that's what causes those lines to stick. So collagen is a main important reason for why we see wrinkles in the face. Number two, our fat layer. We start to lose fat in the face, so that volume loss contributes to things sagging. The other thing that happens in the fat layer is there's what we call fiber septae. These are, if you've ever cut a piece of fat, it's, it can be very firm or it can be very loose. And as we age, things can happen where things sag because there are fibrous septae between those uh, fat cells that keep it nice and tight. Fiber septae are made up of a collagen-like substance. Again, you're hearing collagen again. We lose that substance within the fat that keeps it nice and tight, structured around our face. So not only do we lose the volume from the fat loss, but we also lose the fiber septae that hold it together to our face. The third layer is our muscles. And as we age, the muscles start to get looser in the face. They start to drape down, and that's what contributes to the jowling as well. It's the muscles as well as the fat that's falling. The last layer is our bones. And you've probably heard of osteoporosis, osteopenia. These are terms where the bone starts to thin as we age. And that bone resorption leads to more structural loss in the face. And so the everything else that's on the surface starts to sag. So those are the four layers. Again, in all those four layers, except for the bone, there's collagen loss happening because in our muscle fibers, we have fascia and that, that fascia is starting to also thin that drapes the muscle and that lining thins. So that is also made up of collagen fibers. So there you have it. I've talked about collagen three times in all those three layers. The bone absorbs. I we can't do anything about that, but we can do something about those three layers and how to slow down the aging process by addressing tackling the skin, tackling the muscle and when tackling the fat. And collagen is an important factor. So for more information, tune into my other videos. I'll give you some information about what you can do to take care of the collagen.